Hi guys and welcome back to another episode. Today we are actually from uh, the Pulitzer Bar here in Amsterdam from Pulitzer Hotel. Uh, you might see people walking around because it's still in, in business and operating as we speak. So let's get uh, to, the, to the things that we're here for which is talking about bourbon and talking about a cool drink called the New York Sour. Uh, before we go there, guys, did you ever see a Western movie where when a cowboy walks into the bar with his boots, pops open the, the little hanging doors, going to the bartender and asking, uh, not, not asking anything, but just nodding his head, and the bartenders know what the guy what he wants, gets a small shot glass, pours some brown stuff, the cowboy shoots it down, screams, rawr, and slams the, the, the glass back on the bar. Well, that's rye whiskey. Rye whiskey is actually the original American whiskey. Um, first whiskeys ever. Well, before we start on the first whiskeys ever, guys, whiskey basically is a grain distillate aged on wood, right? First you make beer, then you have a distillate which is clear, also known as white dog or moonshine, if you're interested in that. Uh, if you start aging it on the barrel, you get color, flavor and aroma and loads of complex flavors in there as well. So that's basically what whiskey is. Uh, you got Irish, first ever whiskey made, they call it Ishkebaha, the water of life. They have Scotch whiskey, typically smoky, both of them made with barley, typically. Um, American whiskey is made, in this case, bourbon with 51% corn, rye whiskey, 51% rye. Rye whiskey is a little bit more powerful, has a lot more body, peppery, dry, fiery, and bourbon is a little bit, a little bit more mellow and smoother. It's made of corn, so think of cornbread. Uh, in a nutshell guys, we're working with bourbon. So also a cool story guys is where the name uh, the New York Yankees come from. Maybe you've heard of it, but uh, the first uh, whiskey distillery in America was actually in New York, created by a Dutch guy. Loads of Dutch people were in New York, obviously because it used to be called New Amsterdam, uh, because of the Dutch uh, found New Amsterdam. But after a while you had multinational people coming, uh, coming there as well, the English, and when they saw one of those damn Dutch persons again, especially the gents, because they were either usually sailors and either called Jan or either called Kees. So when you pronounce this English to Jan and Kees and you stick that together like most English do, and they say, ah, they're one of those damn Yankees. Well, that's where the name Yank New York Yankees comes from, from the Dutch. Cool, but how do you drink whiskey? When you have a guest asking you on, could I get a glass of whiskey? What kind of questions should you ask? Some people prefer it in a glass like this. There you go. Just for sipping straight up, nipping it. Some people prefer it just on a glass uh, with a little bit of water as well to open up the, the, the spirit as well. Or in this case, you can ask, would you like to have the whiskey on the rocks? This is a clear ice cube, guys. If you're working with quality products, make sure you use quality ice as well. So you could serve your guests the measure here as well uh, in the glass. Always check if they want to have a double or a single measure, right? So is there a right way to drink whiskey? No, not really. Straight up or on the rocks or into a cool cocktail. So let me jump to that one. The cool cocktail is that I'm going to make for you is called a New York Sour. Uh, sticking with our New York vibes of the New York Yankees. All what you need is a, a Boston shaker in this case. And then we're going to add an ingredient. Maybe you're a little bit scared of it, but it's raw egg whites, right? This is already prepared into a squeezy bottle. Uh, you want to use roughly um, the whites of a single egg, which is about 25 to 30 mils of egg white in there. So what does egg white do? Basically, it froths up the, uh, the drink, giving loads of nice creamy texture and also rounds off the, um, the sharpness of some spirits, right? So it becomes a very nice, smooth, silky experience. Uh, and you might think, well, Rob, come on, dude. <laughs> You're using raw egg white in the drink. Guys, the bacteria, especially salmonella, is living on the outside of the uh, egg shell. Also, when you add the booze, one, two, three, four, a lot of booze, uh, 60 ml or two ounces. Um, the bacteria don't like that. Same goes with lemon juice, 30 ml or one ounce. Booze is in there, egg whites is in there. The thing is, you can't really see it, but everything is not mixing properly. Um, the New York Sour is basically a whiskey sour. And when I'm talking about mixing properly, you need to, to mix it twice, right? Let me first create balance in there because we have the lemon in there. 
Then we balance it off with some sugar syrup. That's 15. There you go. Um, now we have a whiskey sour. What I'm going to do is give it a dry shake. So all the ingredients, they mix good and we do not get these chunks of egg white floating around in the drink. So it's nice and frothy already. Um, whiskey sour is in there. We need to have some um, ice in here. Let me grab it from this side of the bar. Loads of ice and then we're going to serve it eventually on some cubed ice as well, which is the nice clear ice There you go single shake now. We're going to double shake With some ice very good Good 10 seconds. We need to froth up the drink Make sure to keep in contact with your guests Just like that Get it into the glass as fast as possible. There you go. I'm using a fine strainer as well. To get some small chunks of ice out. Because they can pull down the layer of foam as well. And these are, this is all, you see that's all ice in there. So that's why you fine strain and drink basically. Clean as you go, clean all the tools. For now, I'm just leaving it on the side so I can demonstrate you all how to finish up this lovely drink. Um, normal whiskey sour. Some people like to add some Angostura bitters for length and some aromatics. I'm going to keep it like this because I'm getting a little kick from some red wine as well. Touch of red wine at the top, just a float. And this is what makes a whiskey sour to a New York sour. Some people like to use port as well. There you go, it's beautiful, tastes very nice. Um, last but not least the garnish because we're working with egg whites and some egg whites actually all egg whites after five to ten minutes they start smelling funny that's why you need the citrus oil on there just to make sure that our guests will enjoy this drink as long as they want to enjoy it for now thank you very much and see you on the next one cheers this is a yachting international radio production brought to you by luxury hospitality thanks for watching everybody this was our last episode of Cocktails with Rob on Yachting International Radio. Why? Well, we are evolving to the next level and we will be back soon with more exciting luxury hospitality videos. Stay tuned.